It is Michelle here with ProdigyHelp.com, and I am so stoked to help you get through your third grade assessment. So I have not played Prodigy in a while, so we're going to see where we end up right now. Um, I am playing with my guy who's a level 50-something-something. Something. I'm not exactly sure that I recall. Um, and basically, we're just going to go through this, and we're going to have a great time. And it's going to be awesome. Um I would love it if you could please tell me like where you go when you play Prodigy, like what are your favorite worlds? So please feel free to leave a comment, get permission from your folks to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that when I go live, you can jump on and be like, what? There she is. Um, my godson and I, we typically go to Echelon. So we are going to pop over there. Wow. Some of these are super, super full for a Sunday night. Look at that. This is where we go. Okay, so apparently I'm in the Dark Tower. Who knew? I get my daily login bonus. That's nice. Nothing like a croissant to help you get full in the morning. Um, okay, so here I am. I am Abigail. And let's see. You should be able to hear my audio, but I don't know that you can hear my audio going. Hmm. 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 I guess we can't hear the audio. How awful that is. All right. We'll just play a couple rounds real quick. So hi, Mira. Nice to see you. Um, I don't feel like going to Dark Tower right now. I'm going to chill out over here. You know what? Let's go back to Lamplight Town just to see what's going on. Um, I don't, this avatar, I am not a member. I think it's great if you want to be a member. I like to do the math, so I typically don't. Um, oh, looks like we got some magic eggs. How dare you speak to me in that way? You should be grateful that weed nights don't run you right out of town. Uh-oh. Ooh, I'm scared. Well, you can tell your fuzzy orange servants that I, Harriet Hood, will never let you get your dirty paws on all the magic eggs. Ah, we'll see about that. Not even the puppet master stands a chance against the great Dome Zorro. Blah, 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 blah. Look, wizard, here is a buddy cap. Wear it, and when you come see us, only buddy banded bunnies are allowed into the burrow. Who knew? But now I have a buddy mask. And I'm wearing it. Don't I look awesome? And don't think riffraff like bunnies are welcome into Fort Fox. Only friends of the foxes are allowed to pass our guard. Here, wizard, take a fox cap. Wear it if you want to get in. And now I have a fox cap. That's pretty darn cool. Um, So... I'm not going to link my parent account because I'm already an adult. Let's go spin the wheel. I don't know if they're going to let us spin it right now. It's 7.30 at night. We should be able to spin. Let's see. Do I want to spin the twilight wheel? Let's watch it. Spin, 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 spin. I get gold coins. 92 coins. What an interesting number. I don't want to spin again because I'm not a member, so I won't have the opportunity to spin again, but we will go here. And um, let's see if I can spiel the Wonder Wheel. Hi, Zane. Croissant, another croissant. They must think I'm very hungry. No, I don't need to spin again. Um, let's go over and I typically like to chill out in Barnacle Cove. Um, I am in the middle of a uh, quest. There is a Titan there. I am not really in the mood to play a Titan right now. So I'm just going to continue on the quest with Eve. Of course, we just follow the hand and that's going to direct us to our next thing. Let's see who we have in place. Oh, looks like we got a little fight going on. Who is that? Um, I don't need to play it faster. I am playing Saplet. Hi, Saplet. And I brought my friends. Let's go forward with an attack and we'll use zero. I don't use zero a whole lot. Do you use zero? Um, in this line plot, how many stones have a length of one centimeter? Measurement of the length of stones. It has it right here. Here's our number of stones. And this tells us the stone length. So this would be zero centimeters one centimeters, two centimeters. So let's count. We want to look for which has a length of one centimeter. So here is our one centimeter. So we're only going to care about these right here. When I count, there's four. So I'm going to type in four. 
and cast my spell. Correct. We did it. All right, here we go. Here we go. She's going in. Let's see how many we get. Let's hope at least 100. 101. Fantastic. Looks like we're going to get up to level 56 pretty darn soon. I am playing someone who is, um, ooh, I didn't think I paid attention right now. He is in the, I think, level 60s. All right, let's take a look. How many puppies are 19 centimeters tall? I would have thought puppies are long and not tall because puppies don't stand on two feet. But let's take a look. 15 centimeters, 16 centimeters, 17 centimeters, 18 centimeters, 19 centimeters. See how that number there matches our number in our problem? That's why it's important to underline and circle important information. So we're going to count again. One, two, three, four. Four. Now, occasionally when you get older, you might see a problem that says each X represents five puppies and then it would be a multiplication problem. Let's see. I, yeah, I thought it was weak. I was like, why did I hit a water spell? I should have hit a fire spell. I wasn't paying attention, but that's all right. I was so excited talking to you. Okay. Let's see. What's our next question going to be? We're going to attack with embers. Um, here's a line pot, plot, pot, line plot. We're looking at five feet tall. It tells us that each is five feet. This tells us the number of classmates. So this is one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, and five feet. And I don't know why they like the number four so much. That's four fours in a row. Who knew that? Let's see if our embers do anything better. 102, powerful. That's what we're talking about, but we still need seven more. Oh, we got carried away. It's all right. We're okay. Let's attack one more time. She's a level 36. So I, I need to check out my pets to see if it would make sense to um, do that. Okay, here we go. There are four rows with four desks in each row in your classroom. How many desks are you? I'm going to show you two ways to do this problem. First, because it says each row and it tells you the numbers, it is a simple multiplication problem with surprise, surprise, fours, four times four. So hopefully you know your facts and you can do that. The other way that you can do this is let's just draw it. We have our four rows with four desks. So here's one, two, three, four. Here's our first row, second row, third row, and fourth row. One, oops, one, two, three, four. That's our second row. Here's our third row. Here's our fourth row. Now we can count. You might, your teacher might have asked you to count by groupings. We have four here plus four more. That gives us four times two, which is eight. Then we can add another four. That's going to give us 12. And then we can add another four, and that'll give us our 16. 16 desks in a row in the classroom. Well, that doesn't make sense. 16 desks in the classroom. We definitely got saplet here. Give me a break. 120 spell powerful bonus because we worked so hard. We won. Next, next, next. Okay, we won. Let's see what happens next. Open a chest. And we got, did we get the bullion? What did we get? Gold coins and yars. Yars are new to me. That shows you how long it's been since I've played. I always count one, two, three, and then the next button comes up because, I, like I said, I'm not a member. You don't need to be a member. Look, I'm like level 50 and I'm not even a member. All right, we're going to go up here. I'm going to pass a toy magnet or merchant. Why did I say magnet? I don't know. Um, let's see. We're going to go up here. Captain Abby's following us. Captain Abby, hello. Hi. Let's see, May membership, classmates. You guys have been doing so good. I have so many um, of you are in our YouTube. We have like over 500 students. Actually, it's probably even more than that. You guys have hit 25,000 views. How insane a rue is that? Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, Wizard Battle, River Deke. Oh, 240, okay. Water is his thing, so we know that we're going to probably use Earth to attack. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to power beam this baby. Um, you are setting up for a party. There are seven tables each um, that need six chairs in them. So again, you could do the multiplication sentence of seven times six equals. The other thing you can do is, dude, you could draw your seven tables. One, two, three, four five, six, 
and I ran out of space, so we'll put seven here. And then we know that there's six chairs at each table. So you could either do six dots at each table, which is what I'm doing really quickly, and then count all the dots. And I might have had four in one of them, but that's okay. But we're not going to do those anyway. The other thing that you can do is even if you just draw the seven tables, you can still count up by six. So I'm going to put a six here. And if I know I have a six here plus six more, I know that's going to be 12 or six times two, right? Then I've got six more come in here. So 12 plus six is going to give me 18. Then I have six more for 24, six more for 30 six more for 36, and then six more for 42. If you don't know your multiplication facts, it's okay. There's strategies that you can do to get better at them, but it would be really awesome if over the summer you could learn them because then your math's going to be like, just like Power Beam 102. Oh, high five. What? All right. And they missed us because you know, sometimes you miss. I've missed sometimes. I've gotten questions wrong when I stopped paying attention. Here we've got eight tables with five candles on them. Again, you could use your lovely multiplication sentence of eight times five. I am going to draw eight tables and then we're gonna do our adding trick that I just showed you. Here's six tables, seven tables, and eight tables. And then I'm just gonna do it. Well, here's five candles here. If I add five more, that's gonna give me 10. If I add five more, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And that tells me that I have 40 candles all together. So whenever you're taking your test, if even if it's a multiple choice, just draw a picture. It's called math modeling. That's like the official math language that we use, but it truly helps, but it didn't help us annihilate this river neek. Do I want to capture them at a level 35? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Level 35. We still have to check our pets out. Um, your water, you know what? We can just water bomb them anyway. Water to water. Ooh, which clock shows 221? Well, we know that clocks have small hands and long hands. They even have longer hands than that for the seconds, but we'll just leave it like that. The small hand is the hour. Okay, so our small is our hour hand. Okay, our longer hand is our minute hand. So in this case, and I wrote in script, I apologize. Um, in this case, our small hand here is pointing to eight. Here, our small hand is pointing to two, and we know we want 221. So that alone tells us that it should be 221. The other thing that you can do is now look here. Each of these go up by fives. And we just practice counting on five. So we can see that this hand goes to the 21. So that's why we know it's choice B. What a bomb. I mean, it was only 61, but we only needed 20 something. And we're almost going to be on level 56. Okay. Open the chest. Let's see what we got. We got another yars. I don't know what that purple thing is. You probably know. Let's see. A magic egg. I forgot what they said about magic eggs. Goodbye, member stars. We don't need you. Three, two, one. Next. Can you hear Ginger? She's my dog. She's whining in the background. She's like, Shelly, why are you on here? All right. Oh, we're playing a bug. I think the bug is lightning. Let's see. Oh, flick foot is water. Um... We are going to attack because I really just want to get this guy done. We're going to power beam him. Oh, 702. Oh, this is getting trickier. 709. I'm sorry. So we know our hour is seven. So we're going to go here and we're going to see where is it hit with the seven. So this is by the seven. Look at this one. This is kind of between the seven and the eight, but it's closer to the eight. So that's why we know it's going to be choice B. We also can look here and remember that this says five. 10, 15, and see how this, if we did that all the way around, this would give us 50. So this clock is really telling us 750. This clock is telling us 709, which is the correct answer. What? Correct answer. 88. Only 88? Unbelievable. And they're using leaf wind. How are you using leaf wind if you're a water pet? That is curious. 
leaf wood is typically used with that didn't work so we are going to use whirlwind um 1147 ooh this one's really tricky okay both of these short hands are between the 11 and 12 so now we're gonna have to pay attention to the minute hand the minute hand is the longer hand so we know that as we go around we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 so this one went to 40 let's keep looking here 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and look at boom boom doo, 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 doo. 11 47 what Correct, Domeno. Look at all those stars. Fantastic. Yes, 130 critical hit. Ugh, I still have two left. Boom. That's all right. We're so close to leveling up to 56. Let's see. Attack. Whirlwind. Is this shape a quadrilateral? Hopefully, you know the answer already, but let me explain. A quadrilateral. Quad means four sides. Oh, they even told you four sides. So a quadrilateral could be a square, even though that doesn't look like a beautiful square. It could be a rectangle. It could be a parallelogram. That looks like a really bad parallelogram. It could be a trapezoid. All those shapes have four sides. This, of course, has no sides. It's a circle. Oops, I hit yes by accident. What? It's not. It's a circle. Do, 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 do. Goodbye, flick, flit. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Ugh. Open our chest. We got some more yards. We got a tooth. We got some coins. Next. Goodbye, member stars. Three, two, one. Next. I would really love to level up to level 56. Ooh, we're going to go in the whirlpool. Hi, Jennifer. Summer room. We're in the whirlpool. And we're getting attacked by the eel. Hello, eel. Funk eel. Funk eel, we're hoping you're going to help us get to the next level. You are water, so we are going to still whirlwind you. Is this shape a quadrilateral? Well, we talked about quadrilaterals have four sides. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It has twelve sides. Is it a quadrilateral? No, it's not. It's not a quadrilateral because it has twelve sides. Quadrilaterals have powerful. There's our stars. Are we there? Um, no, we got water bombed. 51, not too bad. We can handle it. Let's attack. Um, we'll still whirlwind this guy. Is this shape a quadrilateral? Let's count. One. Let's do a different color so we can see it. One, two, three, four. It is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. This specific specifically is called a trapezoid. Trapezoids have at least one set of parallel sides. Parallel sides are lines that go on forever. So if this line went on forever, and this line went on forever, they would never touch because those lines are parallel. So yes, that is a trapezoid or a quadrilateral. Specifically, it's a trapezoid. And I think it's probably actually on something called an isosceles trapezoid because those sides were the same height or the same length. 58. It's all right, Funky Eel. We knew we'd get you again. And you missed us. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Funky Eel might actually give it to us. Let's use zero. Okay. Which shape has the same perimeter as this one? When we do perimeter, we're going to add the sides. That's different than area. Area is we multiply. Perimeter is we add. So we're looking at here and here, but look what happened. There's no numbers on the other side. There's no number here and there's no number here. What we can do is we actually know because it's a rectangle that the opposite sides have the same measure. So if this number here is eight, that means this number here is also eight. If this is nine, that means this is also nine. So we could add these up. We have eight plus eight, which is 16. 
and we have our nine and nine, which is 18. So when we add these up, we get 34. So now we're seeing which of these give us 34. Well, here we have five and nine as our number. So we have nine plus nine is 18, five plus five is 10. So that gives us 28. So we know it's gonna be B, but let's just prove it. We have 10 and 10, which is 20. I should make this a 20. That looks like a 21. -y. Let's do that again. We know that this is gonna be seven. This is gonna be 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. Seven plus seven is 14. When we add those up, we get 34. Do, 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 do. Boom. Back to battle. Let's see what happens. Wow, 116. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do we do it? Do we do it? We leveled up. We leveled up. We leveled up to 56. It is official. We leveled up to 56. Next. We and we won. And we leveled up to 56. And we got our hearts renewed. Opening our chest. We didn't get as much as last time, but that's okay. And I'm gonna hit next. Goodbye, member stars. Three, two, one, next. All right, lovies, this is Michelle with ProdigyHelp.com. I am going to stop this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and ciao, guys. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.